Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Guppy Garage. So today we are doing a little bit different. We are not actually dealing with any fish today. We are just dealing with a beautiful plant that uh, we got for the garage. Um, so I'm using a new gimbal, so if everything looks a little bit kind of smooth and weird and slow, that is why. Uh, hopefully you guys like the quality of everything now, because now I am much more stable, which is really nice. So I can do all this movement and you guys don't move around. Um, I also changed the quality of my videos, so hopefully you guys have noticed that as well. Um, but today we are actually... No free advertising. Today we are actually going to be setting up a bonsai uh, little garden or uh, a pot. So we went to our local plant store and we got a bonsai plant um, pot. I've got some dragonstone here that we've just got in the garage that I've had for a long time. Um, we got this little plant. I have no idea what kind of plant this is, but uh, maybe Serpa Design can help me out on that one. Um, and then we have got a four-inch Ficus retusia import. I thought this was a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Um, beautiful root structure that it's got on here as well. Um, so I'm really excited to plant that in here. And then we got some of the soil. And then we also just got some of the moss. Uh, sheet, which I think is really a, another cool little aspect to this. Um, it'll kind of just add a little bit more greenery to the um, shelf over here. So the goal is just to kind of have it sitting right here in the middle. Give me a little bit of green on the counter and just make it look a little bit more nature on this side. Um, we are definitely doing the museum still on this side and it just looks very kind of almost too put together. And I'm not really liking that aesthetic anymore. Um, well, I like that aesthetic, but I just want a little bit more nature on this side. Um, I've got a lot of nature on that side and not a whole lot on this side. This is the only tank we have over here. Um, so I think we just need one more thing. So I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and we are just going to kind of just zen out and listen to some music and kind of put this together, together, um, together, together. Yeah, we're going to put it together, together. Um, I'm thinking this is the rock I'm going to use too. I really like this uh, piece of dragonstone I've got. It's got some really cool like holes and everything in it. And I think I'm going to kind of put it in the corner. Um, but we will see as we go. You never know, just like with an aquascape, you never know if it is going to come out the way that you think it is. But we are going to set you guys up and we are going to get to scaping our new bonsai plant pot. Our new bonsai scape. I don't know what to call it. Help me in the comments what we should call this because I don't really know. I'm going to call it the bonsai scape and see how that does. Um, but I'm really excited about this. This was not a cheap little project. Um, this plant was $25. This pot was $38. Uh, the soil was, I think, $4 a bag. This was $9.75. I could have gotten it cheaper somewhere else. Um, I think this plant was like $2, $3, so not too bad. Um, and then I already had the dragon stone, so not too bad there, but still pretty expensive um, kind of little setup we've got, but it's definitely going to be worth it because a, a bonsai or a ficus retusia, um, retusa, retusia, retusa, um, will live for quite a long time, so it'll be kind of nice to have that uh, just as kind of almost another plant pet. So we are going to get to escaping this bonsai escape. 